All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful, well, at least beautiful morning, soon to be a hot, sticky summer day. And right now, it is 59 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning on, it is Wednesday, April 17th. 2024 as I begin my last week in Doomsday Trailer in Denellen, Florida. So this is really, today is my last day as being a, uh, a, when I am a multi-million dollar real estate investor in the state of Florida. So I was trying to figure this out. So this lot that I'm going to work on today, I'm meeting the tractor guy uh, where I've been busting my ass on this lot. So assuming the three of us who are buying this together uh, succeed in flipping this place in two years, that's the... Uh, that's the idea. Uh, then, what that means, if I succeed in that, that means in two years, uh, be, before expenses, before expenses, and giving myself exactly zero, 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 dollars an hour uh, for my labor down here. So paying myself no salary uh, for all of my hard work uh, and not counting uh, all of the expenses like we're getting ready that we spent $700 yesterday on a fucking survey getting ready to spend another $700 today on a goddamn tractor. We got the taxes, uh, not counting uh, all of my gas. Every time I drive down here and back again, probably, I don't know, spent eight or nine dollars in gas times, however many times I'm gonna drive down here in two years. So not counting all of that, not counting all of that, if I succeed in my plans, uh, I will have made, you know, two years from now, because it takes two years to get a paycheck, I will have made $7,500 uh, is what I'm talking about with my great real estate investing, $7,500. So, uh, you know, over 20 years ago, uh, a $7,500 real estate commission check would barely make me shrug. You know, it would just be an average, uh, I mean, I would be glad and go out and uh, and have a nice dinner. You know what I'm saying. I, I would just pick up some $7,500 check. Uh, but, you know, when I was getting uh, $7,500, when I was getting, I don't know, 20 of those uh, a, a year, uh, <clears throat> It, it didn't, you know, it didn't mean that much. But that, I, 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 I just put a reality check uh, on this, that there are a hell of a lot easier ways to make $7,500 than I'm making down here. So this, this is a, a, a long preface to this is kind of part two on this rant that I did a couple of days ago, which I think might be the the, the single biggest, uh, most viewed Humpty Dumpty Tribe video of 2024, talking about how in the state of Florida, that quote, to live comfortably, to live comfortably, 
that a uh, <coughs> that a person, a single person, for one single person, no kids, no dependents, you know, just supporting themselves and nobody else in the state of Florida needs to uh, make $46,000 a year. Well, I figured it up and, and I am grossing, I am grossing uh, about $30,000 a year and probably netting <coughs> less than 20,000, so le less than uh, half to live comfortably in Florida. And, and I mentioned in that route, I, in that rant, that I know the number is a lot higher for New York. And once again, I want to thank Brother Aaron for uh, rooting this out for me. So it turns out that the state of New York is the fourth highest uh, state to live in. Uh, fourth most expensive, I guess Massachusetts number one, uh, Hawaii number two, uh, California obviously number three, New York coming in just below California at right at, <coughs> just, well, <coughs> a couple of dollars shy of at $112,000 for, for one person to live comfortably according to whoever standard this is and I haven't quite figured out who defines the <clears throat> the, the definition of comfort in, in the year 2024 uh, $112,000 more than twice well, what is that? P pretty much two and a half uh, times uh, the the money you need to make to live comfortably in the state of Florida. I I'm sorry. I, I am hitting the fucking bullshit detected button on, on, on a grand scale. Uh, one hundred and twelve thousand dollars for one person. Just to to house, feed, and uh, energize themselves, and 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 this is a basic level of income, uh, you know. And, and if you really want to live comfortably in, uh, in in New York, you pretty much have to double that to well over two hundred thousand dollars. I guess if you want to. Uh, go out to dinner uh, once a week or something. It's, it, it's absolute, unadulterated horseshit. You know, just like that thing with Florida about the $46,000, you know, the big asterisk is how expensive it is to live in Miami. Well, obviously, it's, uh, it's more expensive uh, to live in Manhattan than it is to live in Candor, New York, where uh, I, I live. No shit, Sherlock. So let, let's try to ferret out Manhattan. Let's let's give Manhattan uh, one hundred dollars a day. That that you give yourself one hundred dollars, three hundred and sixty-five days a week for the for the Manhattan surcharge. So what's that's thirty six five hundred and twelve minus uh, let's call it thirty so hundred and twelve minus thirty seven. That is is that eighty five or seventy five? Uh seventy five thousand dollars. Okay. Assuming it cost one hundred dollars every day of your life uh, more to live in Manhattan than than Candor, New York, for instance. Uh, that means to live in Candor, New York, uh, to live for one person to live comfortably in Candor, New York, uh, is seventy five thousand dollars a year a, a absolute 
unadulterated fucking horse shit. I would, I would really like to know, you know what I'm saying, what the, what the average income uh, of, uh, of Candor, New York is. You know, for, as I say, for me, uh, see, so I'm, I'm netting $30,000 a year, so uh, 15, I'm, does that mean I'm, I'm literally 40% of the way? 40% uh, 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 of the way uh, with, with my income to live comfortably in, in, in Candor, New York. 40% of the way. And, and I live perfectly comfortably in Candor, New York. Now, of course, I get the fuck out of Candor, New York uh, for half the year and come down here to Florida. So uh, I, I don't have any heating bills. So I do not have any wintertime heating bills in, in, in Candor, New York. So I guess I will, I, 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 you know, you can factor that in a little bit that I uh, don't have to pay. Well, I, I'm not going to get into that rant uh, at, at this point. Um, it's <laughs> don't get me going on that rant. Uh, <clears throat> but, but, you know, whether you call it $75,000, $112,000, you know, at it, some point, it, you, you have to, uh, it hit the fucking bullshit button, and uh, after considering, uh, the, you know, the zip code you live in, in New York, uh, it, 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 it gets to the fucking definition uh, of the le uh, of comfortable life. What constitutes a basic comfortable life in, in the year uh, 2014? And you, you try to, you know, look, looking at what, what constitutes a basic comfortable life for one person living alone uh, in, in the year, what did I say, 2014, I lost 10 years, in 2024, you know, I, I would like to compare the fucking definition of a basic comfortable life in 2024 to the year I was born. So I was born in 1959. Almost night. Let's call it 1960. So, I I, I would really like to uh, take somebody, uh, uh, you know, out pluck them out of the year 1960, and get them to define what constitutes a basic comfortable life. Let, let, let's get a, I don't know, let's get a 30-year-old. So someone born in 1930, when they were 30 years old in 1960, and get them to define what they consider to be a basic, comfortable life. And then uh, put that up against someone born in, what would it be, 1994, who's 30 years old in 2024, and uh, get their definition uh, 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 of a basic, comfortable life. Uh, there would be absolutely no comparison. What is considered a fucking basic, comfortable life uh, in, in the year 2024? Uh, well, you know, it was the life of uh, a fucking billionaire uh, back in 1960. You know, I've uh, told, told this story several times. You know, my father <clears throat> was a very successful doctor in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it, 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 if that slime bag motherfucker uh, hadn't 
died when I was nine months old, I would basically ha have been raised a little rich boy. Uh, so my father, a, a, a successful doctor in Atlanta, Georgia, <clears throat> he and my mother built their own home in 1956. This is in Atlanta, Georgia in 1956. Uh, my mother was actually the architect. Uh, the, 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 you, you know, by, it's certainly an upper middle class white folks, borderline rich, uh, built this home in 1956 in Atlanta, Georgia and did not put air conditioning in the house in 1956 in Atlanta, Georgia. No air conditioning. I was raised with no air conditioning in, in Atlanta, Georgia. We had this thing called a, an attic fan. It was very cool. Uh, you know, this big all, uh, I think the thing was like, it was probably a 52 inch fan uh, that was vented through the attic and would, would, would keep the air circulating throughout the house. Uh, we, we would open the, the fucking windows uh, all summer and we would have air circulating. Uh, it never occurred uh, to my parents in 1956 in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, when uh, b building a beautiful new custom five bedroom, three bath home in, in a leafy suburb of Atlanta uh, to put in fucking air conditioning. Could you imagine suggesting to uh, somebody on welfare uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, in the year 2024, that uh, they were going to live uh, without air conditioning. Uh, I never, ha I never had an air conditioned car until I was 40 years old. I never had uh, a fucking air conditioned car uh, and, and until uh, right about the year 2000 was the first air-conditioned vehicle I ever had in my life. Uh, you know, growing up in the South, you opened the fucking window. Nobody had fucking air-conditioned cars uh, growing up in the goddamn South. Nobody had air-conditioned homes uh, when I was growing up. Well, well, well probably, you know, like the fucking billionaires. Uh, probably had something like that. It's a bunch of motherfucking spoiled fucking brats is what it is. Uh, you know, I, I don't just need to repeat the same fucking, uh, the, the same fucking rant I just had. It's because, uh, the, the reason that uh, nobody would live in uh, e either in a tiny house uh, measuring the biggest house of all, 10 by 12 feet, or, or live in a, in a single wide trailer. The reason they're not going to do that, uh, the reason it ain't going to happen is because they don't want to live in a tiny house. They don't want to live in a single wide trailer. They don't want to drive a, uh, an 11 year old beat up old truck with 200,000 miles on it. They're a bunch of fucking entitled spoiled brats who have no fucking concept uh, of what uh, leading a comfortable life is. It's the same reason that uh, there, there, there is not one human being uh, I know that would, for the money that I am making down here, 
uh, on, on this real estate investment that I'm getting to. There, there is not one human being I know that would, number one, take the financial risk of, of getting uh, the, uh, the property. Uh, there's not one, well, I guess I know two other people willing to take the financial risk, but there, there is not one other fucking human being other than me that I know that not only taking the financial risk, but, uh, you know, a 64-year-old white man with five years of college, uh, a bad back and a herniated shoulder uh, out here uh, doing this, busting my fucking ass down here uh, to make, uh, to maybe, maybe, uh, if he's, lucky uh, to gross $7,500 a year. I, 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 I'm, the, I'm, I'm the only goddamn person. And, you know, the, the fellow I bought this place from, uh, the reason we got a good price on it, because the motherfucker w was too fucking lazy to come down here and, and, and clean up his goddamn property. He could have, you know, he could have hired one of these land cleaning places so he could have spent 5000 If he had spent $5,000 uh, to hire, uh, you, you know, a tractor to do the whole thing, I'm, uh, we're spending 700 just to finish up what I did. But if he had spent... Five thousand uh, dollars on a tractor. I guarantee you, he would have uh, made uh, fifteen thousand dollars more. He would have put ten thousand dollars in his pocket, and it would have taken instead of uh, three months to sell his property, it would have taken him three days. If the cheap, lazy motherfucker uh, had shelled out uh, five grand uh, to, to to clean up this lot. Uh, one hundred percent convinced that uh, he would have put ten thousand dollars more in, in in his damn pocket, easy. And uh, but the reason he did not spend the five thousand uh, dollars is because he did not want to spend the five thousand dollars. He didn't want to take the financial risk. And uh, and uh, he he just didn't want to deal with it. And and uh, it, 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 as far as I know, the, the fucker he owned it uh, this property for two years. Uh, for two years, and he made he he made ten thousand dollars. In two years is what is what he made. I, well, I, I mean, he he, he grossed ten thousand dollars. You're not counting real estate commissions and taxes and all that. But he he did not spend one penny or one minute on the property. So uh, one hundred percent of his. Uh, of his profit was what we, you know, you would just call a market equity. And he did not make one penny of sweat equity. Uh, so, you know, by the time I, I, I finished doing all this, by the time we sell this place, uh, you know, how are you going to divide the uh, market appreciation equity uh, versus uh, my sweat equity. There, there, there's no way to do it, but uh, my guess is I am making, 
when you know when when you when you subtract off the market appreciation equity, and, and then I split uh, it, and, and, and I split the proceeds uh, three ways, then my guess is I am making about if I make five dollars an hour. Uh, if, if I make five dollars an hour down here, <clears throat> I will be shocked. But right now, I see the the planet nibbling tractor is just pulling up. All right, so I got to go spend seven hundred dollars with my sixty-eight-year-old tractor driver. Uh, bye guys.